All right, guys. Tom got a new guitar. He got multiple new guitars. What do you think about that? Mm. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel, too. I'll be honest. I've known about the StarCaster thing for a little while now. Um, it's It's not something that really excites me personally because... I'm not really big on the semi hollows. I mean, I'm more about the earlier days with the strats and stuff, but I knew that they were considering going back to Fender for a little while. Um, yeah, we like Fender. I mean, I'll definitely support Fender over Gibson pretty much any day. Um, but I do prefer the look of the 333s over the Starcasters, but what a lot of people aren't talking about. I don't know if a lot of people really know this, but the reason why Tom switched to Fender is because Gibson takes a very long time to make a guitar. And with, you know, this big blink tour that's planned and everything, Tom needs some new guitars and Gibson is, you know, ready to oblige, but it takes Gibson like two years, literally like two years to make a guitar for, for a big artist. And I think that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And I mean, that's just really unacceptable in, as far as, you know, getting your artists what they need. And I mean, I'm sure that they could get Slash or some other, you know, big guy, Angus Young or something. If they needed five guitars or something, I'm sure they could do it in a week or whatever if they really wanted to. But I don't know that that's something I've heard direct from some of Tom's guys um, like Jeff um, goes by humble brag on um, Instagram. Jeff Pariah, I think is his name is. Um, Good guy. He's worked on a lot of Tom's guitars. He's shown off a lot of Tom's guitars. Um, that's how I got a lot of the pictures from um, from a bit ago with um, <clears throat> like some some of the strats and and the stuff that he has. And um, he's been pretty open about what's been going on. He, I haven't talked to him personally about the Starcasters, but I like I said I knew that that was coming because. I know people, um, Hey bud, you know, Getty's coming to join too. Um, I knew that the Starcasters were coming because he mentioned it to some other people that I do know. And if new info comes out about a Tom guitar, people just want me to know it's, it's just the way that it is. Um, I was surprised how fast it happened. Um, from what I heard, this has only been going on for a couple weeks. I actually made a joke on um, on Instagram not that long ago about Tom playing Starcasters or something. I couldn't find the story that I made, um, but it was maybe like a month ago or something. I was like, "Oh yeah, Tom will be playing probably Starcasters or something soon." But I actually, I did know it at that point. But it, it you know, whatever. Um, as far as my actual opinions on the guitar itself it's it's kind of cool but it's really not my thing personally like i've said in the past um, i really don't care for big bulky semi hollows and that goes for you know my gibson 335 upstairs in my studio that goes for you know the other um like tom DeLong style guitars it's just not really for me um but i'll talk about what i do like um, so he's got four new ones and they all have different, uh, paint jobs. One was surf green. One was, I believe, Olympic white. It looked a little off white. It wasn't like super bright. One of them was shell pink. It's very, very light pink. And then one of them was like a, some shade of gold. I don't know what it is, but I was very surprised to see the gold. Tom, I don't think I've ever seen him play a gold guitar. Maybe when he was playing like some of Jerry Finn stuff, he might have had Jerry might have had a gold guitar or something. I don't even know. But 
the color choices were interesting. I was not expecting that um, in terms of uh, those colors for sure. Um, the inlays are very cool. Um, I, I forget his first name. Oh, bless you. Thorn Guitars or whatever. He's one of the, the Fender guys, uh, but he also makes his own guitars. Uh, Ron Thorne, I think his name is. He did the inlay work, and I'm pretty sure he did the inlays on like Tom's white Strat with the pyramid logos. He probably did um, the the ones for the Mason logos. Um, that was from Alex Perez, um, who used to be Tom's like direct contact at the uh, custom shop. Um, yeah, he said I'm like 99% sure he said that Thorne did that. Um, super super great inlay work it's if you haven't seen it it's like the close-up of like the blink smiley face with the six arrows looks really cool goes all the way up to the 12th fret and then it goes with the dots after that it's pretty sharp um i love the fact that it's a roasted neck because roasted stuff is is getting really getting more popular these days and i think it's just fun to see it more often especially on one of tom's guitars because tom has always been big on raw necks like he'll get a maple neck and then have it sanded down which really isn't a great idea when it comes to like humidity and changes in climate and stuff like that like your neck can really start to warp um so having a roasted neck removes all the moisture and like the sugars in the neck i guess um in, in the wood and it makes it a lot more stable so i think it'll be a much better product for him um plus it just looks cool it's got like that lighter brown color instead of um like your typical standard maple yeah me too babe um what else i did read the builder mention in the comments that it's a seymour duncan custom pickup um not to be confused with like the custom custom or the custom five which i've used or um there's like a 59 custom hybrid so yeah it they, they've got a lot of custom custom pickups but this is the sh5 i guess which is like a a ceramic magnet version of a path pickup a paf which is interesting i've never used one personally but i was looking online and it looks like it's got like a good amount of bass frequencies and a good amount of treble so it's definitely going to still do, you know, that Tom DeLonge kind of sound, but it looks like it's more medium output instead of like a higher output, which I think is definitely a good thing too. It'll be a little bit more versatile for Tom. She's teething. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Um, what else? Um, it's a maple maple body. Uh, most semi hollows are maple, but he did confirm that in the comments. I forget the builder's name, but um, he's on he's on Instagram, and um, I don't know. I, I think it's cool that he covered at least one of them in some stickers. You know, I'm a fan of the sticker stuff. I don't know if he'll be doing stickers on the other stuff, but um, I don't know. It's it's a pretty cool guitar. I think it's it's cool that he's back with Fender. I, um, I, like I said, I prefer the Fender over the Gibson thing, um, but we'll see where it goes. It'll be interesting if they do a production model. I don't think that they've decided on that yet. If as far as I could tell from comments and stuff, I could definitely see it selling pretty well. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. It is what it is. Um, yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, she likes it. So, hopefully that kind of gave you some answers, I guess. Um, another tidbit, I guess they were considering doing Jazz Masters for a while um, because Tom did want like a bigger guitar, but I guess the Jazzes just weren't big enough for him. He, def he just prefers the... Uh, he just prefers the the bigger like semi hollows which i totally get tom's a big dude uh, but it's not it's not my cup of tea really so did i miss anything it has they all have black binding which is interesting um 
I'm not a big fan of black binding, but you also don't see it very often. Um, but it's cool. I, I like that we're getting into a new era. You know, it's 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 something exciting. I mean, I really didn't care for the sort of designs they were doing on the Gibsons over like the last Ava tour. They made some of them look like old like WW2, oh, WW2, uh, World War Two like bombers or something, or like made it look like some of their airplanes. Something like that. I don't know. I didn't really like it. Um, so we'll see what happens. I think it'll be cool. I hope... Th well, I was going to say, I hope he does something cool with amps, but it looks like he's doing like Axe Effects stuff these days, which is what I use. You know, it's super easy. Um, but it would be cool to see him rocking like a new, a new company or something, maybe like Orange or... I don't know. Friedman would be great. Um... Or even go back to the maces, but I, I hope I don't see him using like the like the Vox and the Fender amps anymore. I don't really care for those, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think that's that's where I'm gonna cut it off. I don't I don't have anything else to say, but hopefully you enjoyed my quick thoughts. Sorry the quality of the video is not great. I I'm doing the front facing camera right now. Um but just me and the kiddo hanging out. I didn't have time to record this in my in my car, so You good? You're great. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I think it's going to be a big crowd pleaser for a lot of people. I And I, I will say, I don't have any plans to do any sort of StarCaster builds or anything like that. It's just, like I said, not my cup of tea. I do know that Third Story Guitars, who I've gotten a lot of my bodies from, has expressed interest in making some. So if you have any interest in that, hit him up. I do know that you can spec some bodies from Warmoth uh, that will get you very close. They call it the Mooncaster, I think, but it's basically the same exact thing. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really got to say. And they do have... For the neck, you wouldn't do, like, the Mooncaster neck. You would do, like, the CBS-style neck. Tom's using basically the same style like headstock and everything is like the strats he used to do so i like that so anyway i'm out of here later i keep looking at the wrong spot i keep thinking the camera's up here but it's over here i'll see you later